let me spill the tea. There's only a handful of items that are worth your money in this sale because a lot of stuff is not that good of a deal. Hey guys, I'm Christina and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about the coveted Nordstrom anniversary sale and I'm here to spill the tea because let me tell you, I've been shopping this sale for a long time and you guys, sometimes it's just a little bit underwhelming. It's not as good of a deal as you think it is. So many things get super discounted a couple months down the road after it's been full price. So basically how the sale works is this is brand new stuff for the fall. They're putting it on sale right now in August at discounted prices like 30 around 30 to 40 percent off and then in you know September they'll put it for full price but then guess what happens in November it gets discounted for even more than it is now. So there's really only a few pieces that are really really worth your money and it can be very overwhelming listening to everybody on YouTube and watching all these Instagrammers spend thousands of dollars. So I really just wanted to share with you I have my laptop up right now so I'm gonna show you everything on my wish list. And I'm also going to talk about some pieces that I bought in the past because newsflash, uh, Nordstrom puts like the same shit on sale every single year. If you haven't noticed, it's like the same stuff. They do it over and over and over again. So I'm going to tell you though, what, what stuff is worth it. And if you haven't seen my previous video about what's not, you need to watch that too. Okay guys, so let's talk about the items that are actually worth your money. And I've kind of broken it up into like five different categories. And the other categories I'm not mentioning, it's probably because you should avoid it. <laughs> so the first category I want to talk about that is pretty good is the athleisure department. This is something I buy from every year and I'm usually happiest with this these purchases because I tend to not find the items in Nordstrom Rack in a few months and sometimes these items never even make it to the big sale during Black Friday because they're sold out. So athleisure is a really good one to focus your energy on. So I wanted to point out a couple pieces that I plan on purchasing. Um, so the first pair are these Nike biker shorts. So you guys, I don't know how I feel about the biker short trend. Honestly, I've never even tried on a pair of biker shorts, but it looks really cute on a lot of people. So I'm gonna try these out and see if I like them, you can always return them. But the biker shorts from Nike are a good one. And then I love, love Aloe. They are one of my favorite athleisure brands and I tend to have a hard time finding this stuff on sale. And that's really what you wanna look for when you are shopping the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Take it from me, I'm a designer deal junkie. I'm all about designer items, but I like to find things on sale. I don't like to pay full retail for like anything. And that's really what my channel is all about is designer deals. So you're gonna get a little scammed, to be honest, during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, you guys. That's just, the, that's just the truth of it, and I've been scammed many times, so I'm here to tell you that a lot of this stuff is not that good of a deal. So what you're really trying to look for are pieces that never go on sale, that you have a hard time finding on sale, and Alo is one of them. I do not find this stuff on sale. I find it more difficult to find at like Nordstrom Rack. I don't really find a lot of their pieces, and when I do, it's not like the pieces that I want. They have these airlift high waist leggings, and I have a feeling that these are gonna sell pretty fast. They're coming out in like a blue, a pink, and a limestone color. The pink is my favorite. That's the color I plan on getting. Pink is almost kind of like the pink of my shirt, so I love it. And then it has a matching top. With, look at the back of this. How stinking cute is this top? So for me, this is a win. This is the type of thing that I want to buy at the Nordstrom sale because one, I know it's going to be difficult to purchase this stuff uh, at a lower discount later because I know it's going to be popular, it's going to sell out. Especially this sports bra top with the, the cute bag, people are going to want that. So I know it's going to sell out quickly and it's just something that I'm not going to be able to find discounted at discount stores later on. I also do like these Zella leggings. I do like my leggings. I have a million black athleisure leggings. I don't need any more plain leggings. So I do love these. I like to find fun workout clothes. It kind of motivates me to work out to have something cute. So I love these Zella ones. I'm interested in these and I do like Zella. Zella is um, 
Kind of hard to find at Nordstrom Rack as well. They make Z by Zella, but that is not the same thing. That is a specific brand that they make to sell at the outlet stores, and it's not the same quality. So Athleisure is a really good way to go in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale because it's harder to find this stuff on sale. The same thing with this Blanc Noir uh, sweater. It's kind of like an athleisure type of um, sweatshirt with like pleather on it. It's really cute. Blanc Noir doesn't really go on sale a lot. Um, it's really hard to find this throughout the year. So that's the type of stuff you want to look for is stuff that never really goes on sale. And that's the athleisure department is a good place to do that because usually the athleisure that does go like on super sale is stuff that either there's only like one size left or it's just not that cute. Okay, so something that I get excited about and that I definitely think is a worth your worth you buying are beauty tools. So the beauty tools are really good. They also do some sales during Black Friday. And so last year during Black Friday, actually I bought a micro needling tool and that's like one of the best purchases I've made. So I love buying beauty tools because the only other time I see them on sale is usually during Black Friday and there's no guarantee it's gonna be the same type of tools. So there's a couple on here that I think are really good. So the first one is the Derma Flash. This is gonna be $99, let's see, yeah. $99 and it's an exfoliation removal. It also removes like peach fuzz and any facial hair. So I really like this tool. I've heard very good things about it. So I'm interested in trying it. Never used the Derma Flash before, but now's a great time to try something out like that. And I'm always like trying to do new beauty tools just to help with anti-aging. So I also like this one. Um, it is the Light Stim for Wrinkles. They have one for acne, but I am very lucky. I don't really have acne, um, but I am interested in the wrinkles one. So this one is $167 and after the sale, it's gonna be $250. And it looks like some people have already bought it in the past and it has pretty good reviews, almost five stars. So I love reading the reviews. I find them super helpful. So it's basically like an LED light and you put it over like the spots that you want to specifically treat. So I think that this would be a, a good deal. Another thing to consider in beauty is just to stock up on stuff that you already love. They're putting the Becca Backlight Primer on sale. So it's going to be $23 and normally it's $40. So that is something I would consider buying because I already love it. I already use it. So now is the time to get it on sale. So in the beauty department, you know, try to get like tools, but also if there's any makeup that you see that you already love so much, now's a good time to buy it. So I'm always looking for good designer deals and there's really not that much good designer stuff on sale. I'm gonna be honest with you. During the sale, Nordstrom doesn't really focus on like as many high-end things as they do like that middle tier stuff. So there are a few things, but it's not great. There are two things though I do want to point out that I think are good, and that is these Fendi sunglasses, which these are on my wish list. I really like them. I like them in the brown, but they also come in the black. So these are $287 with the sale. After their sale, they're gonna be $430. And I am not the biggest sunglass person. I love my little Amazon sunglasses. However, um, if I can find designer sunglasses for a good deal, then I will consider purchasing them, but I never pay full price for designer sunglasses. So the other ones are these Gucci black sunglasses, which these are very classic and I really like them. They are a cat eye, they're $239 at the sale and afterwards they're gonna be $360. So getting some sunglasses during the sale is a great idea. You can definitely find designer sunglasses on sale pretty much all year if you go to outlet stores or anything like that. But sunglasses, it's one of those things you really have to love them. It has to match your face. So if there are any that you really love, now would be a good time to get those. So one other category that I think is a good investment during the sale is the denim. Denim is something that you can wear for years to come and they have some really great brands during the sale. Some of my favorites are Frame, Mother, and Good American and they have some really cute ones. I love these Frame ones. I'm considering getting them. I love Destroy Denim. Frame is probably my favorite. They fit really well. Good American is also a really great brand. I love how Good American is super stretchy. Their jeans are super comfortable and they're very popular. They sell out very quickly, even just full price. So if that's something you're interested in 
definitely snatch those like as soon as you can. They have this really great like dark denim pair that I love. And then Mother Jeans are a pair that I've actually never tried but I've heard amazing things about them. So I like this pair with a little bit of a holes in them. However, I probably won't get them if I get the frame. I'll have to decide because they're very similar. But I do really like this black pair. They are going to be $149 at the sale and then $200 or $230 after the sale. So pretty good deal. I definitely think that jeans are a good investment during the sale because jeans are one of those things that if you take care of them, they can last a really long time. I love designer jeans. So next up, a good um, one to invest in is shapewear. Shapewear is a really good one to buy at the Nordstrom sale. The Spanx leggings are literally on sale every single year. So don't ever buy those for full price because they are literally in the Nordstrom anniversary sale every single year so I have the Spanx leggings I love them if you don't have them you should definitely consider getting them they look so good on they just look so good on everybody they make them in regular sizes plus sizes everybody they make them for all women they're so good I also love shapewear it's really really great if you don't own a pair of Spanx you should definitely get a pair they're good for everybody like seriously even if you whether you're big tiny little whatever size they just smooth everything out especially when you're wearing something fitted i also personally love wearing them when it's like that time of the month when i'm like super bloated and i feel horrible and i just i get super bloated i don't know about you guys but when you're super bloated the Spanx are like a lifesaver so if you don't own a pair of Spanx, i would definitely get those during the sale that's something that you are going to love investing in because it's going to make you feel good about yourself and you're going to look really good in your clothes so there's a few other things that i wanted to point out that i think are good investments in the sale if you're into nutrition i love moon juice they have my super u vitamins on sale so i'm excited about that it's pretty much not that great of a sale but what they're giving you is the full you're paying for the full bottle but then they're giving you a little mini one for free because 52 dollars is how much just a regular bottle cost so i love these vitamins so i'm going to be picking these up they also have the hum nutrition ones which i like those as well so nutritional um vitamins are really good if you're already using them just to stock up, up stock up on them during the sale so that you um don't have to pay full price so I talked about in my video what not to buy during the Nordstrom sale is tons of fall items just because you're not going to get a lot of wear out of them. I would focus on only getting a couple things you truly love. So for me, one thing that I really like during this sale is this Free People sweater. It's called my only sunshine sweater. I love the neutral color, but I actually love all the colors. They're super cute. It's going to be $69 now and then $108 after the sale. Free People sweaters tend to sell out quickly and they um, do eventually go on sale during Black Friday, but I see that sometimes it's hard to find the color you want or the size you want. So Free People is a good brand to buy during the sale in general just because a lot of people love Free People and those things sell. And then I did want to point out this coat. I personally am not going to be buying it because I already have the pink one. I literally get comments every time I wear this coat. So I was surprised I saw it here at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So I just wanted to point it out in a camel, like a camel, um, a camel color this year, it's $149. They're 260 after the sale. And I've made it really clear. It's not the best investment to buy coats or especially like crazy coats like this one. So this is kind of like a unicorn piece. If you really, really love it, now's a good time to get it because these coats sell really quickly. Um, but if you are not in the market for a coat, don't waste your money on coats. It's just not worth it to buy coats in the middle of August. But I did just want to point this out as like a little unicorn piece because I love mine so much that if somebody's looking for it or if you've been looking for it because they sell out quickly, Nordstrom has it. And then one other little unicorn piece from the Nordstrom sale is this All Saints jacket. I love the color of it. It is $329 at the sale and it's going to cost you $500 after the sale. This is definitely a splurge piece, but All Saints is a very great brand and it's a very good resale brand. So if you ever want to sell it, it sells very well on Poshmark. So this is also like what I consider a unicorn piece and it's only really good if it's something you really, truly, truly love and want, but it's very beautiful and I just wanted to point that out. 
So I think it's important with this uh, sale not to go too crazy. Either invest in things that you already love and use, like some beauty products that you just want to stock up on. And then the other thing you want to do is try to pick up pieces that very rarely go on sale or that tend to sell out quickly that you're going to have a hard time finding in the future. And these are the pieces that I really think will do that because there's a ton of stuff at the sale that's really not that good of a deal. And I talk about that in my other video, like tons of like tops, shoes, things like that, that you should really avoid that you can actually find at other stores for cheaper prices. So if you have not seen that video, go check it out. I'm telling you what not to buy. And there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff you can get for way better deals at different times and I share that all in that video. So go check it out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe. I will be sharing with you an actual haul of the, the few items that I do plan on purchasing. I'm gonna share all of that with you. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.